Nice. In between and outside the white lines, Claire Goo wins. That's what I played with for 10 minutes and I'm like, hello, ow. By not thinking of winning. Last year, I guess going into state, I just wanted to play tennis that would make myself happy, not really like focus too much on winning or losing. Which earned her a state title. That mentality translated into the classroom. I am attending Harvard College next year. Um, I'm very, very excited and very grateful. Her 4.45 GPA and 36 on the ACT spoke for themselves. I didn't actually have apply to Harvard in the fall. Um, I applied to Stanford um, in the early round and I was admitted and I just thought I really like Stanford but I thought oh maybe I just I'll just like throw a Harvard application in there and I ended up being admitted. Patience both on the court and off. It's what makes the 2022 state champ tick. I just try to get all my work done. Um, I try to find what I like to do and I think that's also helped with tennis where I don't think I um, I rush too much. I'm just like more patient. I just play it how it is. I just like stay in the moment. When she stops swinging the racket or scribbling the pencil. I found that I really loved creating music. The harder the music got, the more I found it to be really enjoyable. And I also found it as a relaxation um, sort of outlet away from tennis and away from academics. Like the winner she is, Gu is now a four-time All-State violinist. With enough accomplishments for a lifetime, Gu said she won't play Harvard tennis next fall, so the state tournament is her last ride. Of course I want to defend my title, but also it's my last year, so I don't want to go in solely thinking of like, oh, I need to win, I need to win, and I just want to enjoy my last, um, I just want to enjoy my last state tournament. Shannon Earhart, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.